for today's video, right, we are actually going to talk to you guys about the COVID tank. So firstly, right, we actually did a couple of changes to this tank. We actually changed the scape again. So this time, you guys can actually see we added a um, couple of fresh water um, ornaments into this tank. Um, this is actually inspired by um, Jake Adams from Reef Builders, right? If you see a couple of his fish only videos, like a couple of fish highlights videos, right? He also had to use a lot of all this um, freshwater ornaments to actually um, build up the tank. So we actually added in like a couple of very um, castle-like ruins into this tank just to give it this, just to give this tank a little bit of vibes um, into it, just a little feel here and there. But this is not the main topic for today. So the main topic for today, right? We actually got in a new fish which is a fish that I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for for many, many years to get my hands on. Um, firstly, it's very hard to come by. He's by far, we used to call him the, as one of the holy grails of your central pygies. It's one of the few rarer stuff to ever get. Um, it's the Japanese um, pygmy angelfish, or also famously known as the interruptus angel. So for those of you guys who don't know what's an interruptus angel, right? These guys here are pricey. They really, really do cost a bomb. And the smaller they are, the pricier they are. So the reason why is that so, right? Because um, the interruptus angel is actually one of those angels that can actually um belongs to the central pygi um genus that can actually get to a very, very big size compared to your normal pygmy angels. These guys um, can get to really, really good palm to even hand size kind of um, pygmy angels. But they're actually really highly priced when they're younger, when the colors are actually a lot more vibrant. They usually come in the, especially like the juvenile right now, right? They have this very nice um, orange base and then this purple speckle all over them. So they are really, really interesting fish. They are really very hard to come by. These guys are very pricey, and then um, but they are a really good fish for all the angel fish collectors out there. So let's talk a little bit more about this fish and what's so special about this fish. So the Japanese interruptus angel, right? These guys are found in a bit more deeper waters, and they prefer a lot colder water compared to your normal tropical water. So I'm actually keeping this guy currently right now at 23, 24. So it's actually a very, very cold um, water display here that I can go at my house, which is the max I will ever go is 23, 24. That's the max I will ever go um, because electrical bill is actually very expensive though. So yeah, I'm actually still trying to bring it up to about 25 if possible once it gets a little bit bigger. But then for now, I'm still going to stick with 23, 24. So it requires a lot more, uh, much more colder water. Um, in terms of feed wise, right, interruptors is pretty actually quite interesting that they are actually kind of hardy for even for their price tag. Um, they are not the very, okay, they are still very sensitive angels, don't get me wrong. Um, without proper acclimation, without proper handling, right, these guys do, um, do die pretty easily. And for the price tag of um, four digit, I will not recommend you guys to actually um, give it a try if you don't really know what you are doing. Um, aside from that, right, if you can do interrupters well, they are actually a very, very um, hardy fish to actually look after for. They, once they get stable, they're eating well, um, they usually can last for many, many, many years. So these guys do get to a very big size and I don't mind keeping him here all the way till he go to his adult coloration and then probably put him into the 5 feet next time but we'll see how it goes but for now this is his home um, in here okay so the story goes like this um, I actually got him from Iwana so I always wanted an interruptus angel but then I didn't really get one because firstly of the high price tag these guys um, they will cost you in a range for about 2000 all the way to 3000 a piece so they are not a very very cheap fish to go after and the second reason why I didn't want to get it previously right, because I always wanted to um, I was supposed to actually go to Osaka this year for a friend's wedding and then I was supposed to go over to visit um, Blue Harbor I was supposed to go visit um, Koji and then after that to actually get one 
um, hand-picked and hand-collected over there. But however, due to the COVID situation, um, stuff like that, right, I actually couldn't fly to Osaka and was postponed to next year, hopefully, that I can go over to Osaka. But then, since I can actually go over there, right, why not just... Um, he actually got a shipment in to Singapore, which... Um, our dear friend here, Iwana, which is really good friends with Blue Harbor as well, actually got a Japanese shipment from them. So um, the interrupters actually came with them and yeah, I actually snagged the smallest interrupters in Joe among the batch. So I am very hesitant to get the smallest one but then because I have a very ideal tank for it right now. As you guys can see, there's nothing to bully it, it's just the blue line and the finisters in here. There's no aggression, there's no nothing, everybody is in their juvenile phase and there's no um, parasites or anything because this tank I can treat and everything right so I actually have the ideal environment for it and I can fit it a lot in this tank so this is why I decided to go for the smallest one and after a couple of discussion with Jin Kai right, I decided that okay the smallest one is the best choice for this place so I got it in here and currently it's in here and it's gonna stay in here for many many years to come by before we actually move him out to another tank once he's actually a lot more stable but that will be like what one two years later but for now we'll just enjoy him here so i don't think there's much i would like to share about this um particular video it's going to be a very short one next week is going to be a very crazy video so i'm actually just going to do this short so just want to share with you guys on the new fish that we got which is the interrupted angel care level wise um Aside, okay, I would rather you guys get small signs, but then um, usually interrupters enjoy they come really small, so it doesn't really matter in terms of sciences. Um, they are pretty hardy fish as long as you handle them correctly. They will prefer um, colder water, so always try to give your interrupters colder water. If you can do 23, 24, that is ideal. If you cannot, um, I would recommend you maximum 25. So I will just sum it up um, in today's video. If you guys want to get one, um, they are really stunning fish, they are like the holy grails of holy grails, they are a prize collection for you angel collectors out there. These guys um, are Japanese, they only need cold water and they take easily anything, as long as the environment is correct right, these guys usually go out for any kind of foods. Um, this guy over here being the smallest right, he's eating on um, TDO small pellets. My sis, um, Brian Stream is taking anything that I throw in, so I'm actually pretty good with him. So we'll just give you guys another update um, probably next year on how this guy is actually doing. But then I will just wrap this whole video up um, by giving a shout out to Iwana for actually bringing in the shipment and then for Jin Kai to actually having it, to allow me to have this small guy here in the studio. And then to be able to give you guys this little video and this little small care segment for you guys. So if you guys are interested, I believe I do see another one or two more um, still in Iwana. So yeah, if you guys want to get one right, do feel free to look up to um, Jinkai and then um, pick that one piece or two piece from there. But then next week, I guarantee you it's going to be a long and interesting video. So same thing if you guys like all the videos I put up for you, right? Like, subscribe and I will see you guys soon next week.